What's up guys, I'm gonna take you into this walk-in box, high-end facility, pharmaceutical site, having some issues with water leaking on the floor once in a while, intermittent fuses blowing for the drain pan heaters. So we ordered the parts we thought we needed, so when we took everything apart, we had the parts on hand to fix it, and I'm gonna show you exactly what we found, the parts we changed, and now the thing's running top-notch, guys. Let's get to this. So here's the pan we're changing. We can also see that suction line's not insulated very well, so we're gonna have to fix that. And also, we're gonna have to pull the, the insulation off the drain. That's not done very well either. Cut into this drain line, remove the pan, and, and bring it down. We've had issues with sort of leaks happening in different places because we're finding water on the floor. It's draining properly. We're not sure where it's coming from. This one here is not doing it. This one here is not doing that. This one here is, it's intermittent and it's only when this one's running because we switch them back and forth every month for equal run times and it's only this one that's doing it. So we are gonna change the pan. Maybe it's not sloped correct internally or something like that and we're getting water back feeding. So we're gonna change it today. So we've also had the pan heater blow fuses intermittently here and there. So what I think is happening is this heater and the pan is not working correctly and we might have dams of water building in certain places, not allowing that ice to thaw out and flow over to the drain and it's damming up and it's pooling and it's overflowing. So what I thought was if we're gonna bring this pan down, we're gonna have a new pan just in case there's some internal damage and we also have a new heater because the fact that it's blowing fuses every once in a while and it's sitting in water is not a good thing. So we're gonna get this pan and heater changed today. Right, Lucas? All right. <laughs> we got the old pan out and we're gonna check the heater here for resistance and we're gonna compare it to the new heater that we got. So 24.7 ohms, let's compare it to the new so one. The other thing I'm noticing here is that the gasket on the drain looks compromised. It looks uh, like it's been torn and it's been compressed too much. So this could also be a point of where it could be leaking. Um, leaking out of here and running down the evap like it is right now. Running down the evap and dripping in different spots. So I'm leaning towards this at the moment as being the problem. All right, so here's the new pan. And you can see that it is very straight, like this one's warped here. So we're just gonna check the heater resistance to make sure it's the same, or if it's off a little bit. Okay, so our new heater is the exact same. It's the exact same as our old one. So as you can see, we have ice buildup on the evaporator still in a couple of different spots. And we've got some ice buildup around the electrical, so it's really good that we're taking this thing apart to find out what's going on. This is probably what's causing the fuses to blow intermittently, so I think that the defrost cycles need to be changed. This is four times per day for 45 minutes, so I think we should maybe try six times per day for half an hour. I've done that in a lot of cases when we have excessive ice buildup and it seemed to help. And this one, we've also got some frost here. So I think that's what we're gonna do after we get this thing back up and running and this pan fixed and the new heater on. All right, we have found our culprit, it is a compromised gasket. This is what's causing this, but I wasn't taking this whole thing apart in this high-end facility, in a high-end walk-in box, without having new stuff here. Unfortunately, the new evaporator didn't come shipped with a fitting or a gasket. That's the crappy part about this. Right, thanks to Dylan, the plumber across the parking lot there, we have, works for the same company, by the way, he provided us with a new gasket. So I've got a little bit of nylog white on the fitting here. 
right here and then we're going to put the drain piece back on that's already pre-made up here so i'm going to go to the other side i'm going to get rid of the ice on the electrical and then we're going to set up the defrost correctly to six times per day half an hour each and i believe it's going to alleviate this problem all right we're back up and running here's our defrost clock there is six defrost scheduled each one of these tabs is 15 minutes so that's half an hour per, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, our pan has been replaced, our heater's been replaced, and that pan was wonky, it was out of sorts, and that drain was an issue. So that's been fixed, everything's running now, our ice has been melted, and this, changing this here, is going to help with that ice accumulation, because this is my past experience with that particular situation. So everything's good to go on this, Everything's fixed up. Two birds with one stone on this one, guys. Happy HVACing.